Good morning trippers and welcome back to this week's walk and talk where it's Monday the 21st of June and I'll be taking you through last week's week 22 of the Ironman Staffordshire training that I've completed and also a bit of a prelude of what's coming this week yes which will be week 23 because it's now only four weeks to race day yeah that's right four weeks let's go Oh yes guys, welcome back, welcome back. It's Monday, Monday lunchtime, the 21st of June. And uh, what an incredible week last week was in terms of training, in more ways than one. I hope you're all keeping well. And I really do appreciate you guys keep coming back, watching these video, giving the thumbs up, subscribing and all that jazz. It's fantastic. I like to keep things simple on this channel. And, uh, and literally, I find it so soothing just walking along this uh, canal and for those who've been watching regularly will know that this is the Staffordshire and Worcestershire canal whilst I'm uh, living here in Stafford in preparation for the 70.3 Ironman Stafford race which will now be in four weeks time yeah four weeks yesterday is race day so last week's training as you may recall from previous week's walk and talk I mentioned that it's a cutback week and oh boy did I really need that cutback week so whilst it was a cutback week in terms of the amount of training because it was literally just two swims three runs three bike rides but all the runs bar one and I'll tell you about that one and definitely the bike rides and the swims the swims were cut back considerably only about half an hour each at nice easy paces the bike rides were all in zone one or zone two heart rate so again super easy and i think the longest bike ride which was on the sunday was two and a half hours although i did make a school ball error on that bike ride and whilst it's been a hot humid week um yesterday sunday it wasn't uh, too pleasant and whilst i was out i i did bring my windproof uh, gear with me but I forgot gloves and my hands got so cold that I couldn't change gear properly so that was a bit bizarre but um, but it was a very good week for me because it allowed me to recover and I've already done my swim session for today Monday and blooming neck was that hard um, tough tough as nuts as I'm now getting into what you might call specific race speed oh and as i'm here speaking of race speed here's a couple of swans and cygnets and the cygnets are growing so well can you see that there they are wow and you got incredible so hold on i've got to pause this because i need to get me uh, get me polaroid on this Sorry about that brief intermission. I, I had to get my uh, camera out and just do a quick uh, separate film of that for, uh, for the social meds, you know, while I'm spotting along the canal. But yeah, going back to the training, that schoolboy error yesterday. Um, yeah, it was, it was one of those where it wasn't too cold for my neoprene gloves and it certainly wasn't hot enough for no gloves. And it was a bit drizzly in some sections at the route. So I did get cold and um, but I've been out trying my triathlon gear and it's a bit weird because it's obviously made for being in a swim and cycling and running so it's not sort of like bike specific and, uh, and that's why I ended up having to put my cover on because I think the back because it's two pieces um, lots of detail is that because uh, it was wet roads and the water was coming up my back the uh, material doesn't cover all the way like cycling top does so my back was exposed and it was getting a tad wet and cold shall we say <laughs> and uh, so uh, hopefully it will be dry on race day but hey i don't want to even start thinking about race day just yet because i've got four weeks so as i mentioned the training was 
two two relatively easy swims nice easy pace only for about half an hour each and uh, and the bike rides but on the saturday on the saturday yes of the three runs i had a 5k time trial which you may recall i done one three weeks prior to that and uh, yeah let's go over and have a look how i got on on the saturday which as you may recall was the uh, morning after the england scotland game if you've been watching the euros 2020 a year late because it's 2021 and uh, yeah step on over let's let me show you what happened on the 5k tt good morning trippers yes it's saturday morning on I really should uh, check my uh, dates. Is it Saturday the 19th of June? The morning after the football game last night. Yes, England, Scotland, nil-nil after all that drama. Nil-nil. But anyway, I'm here for a 5k time trial. And uh, yeah, that's how I roll. So I'm going to get changed. You'll then see this camera attached to my chest and then we'll go 5k. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see how we get on. So leave some comments. Villa, what time do you guess I'll be doing uh, this particular time trial? Bear in mind, I've done one three weeks ago. So, uh, yes, if you've been watching regularly, you know I do like to uh, record these. Catch you on the trail. Okay, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Go, go, go. So yes, 5k TT done. It did feel quite humid on that morning and it was much earlier than uh, I normally do any running. So there's my excuses. <laughs> but uh, leave some comments below. What time do you think I'll, I'll, I will release it? I did film it on my chest. I haven't checked, funny enough, I haven't checked it yet. I'm, I think it did all come out. The camera didn't stop halfway through. Um, leave comments below what you think the uh, 5k time trial time was um how much under the 20 minutes or how much over the 20 minutes as i say it did feel quite humid and uh, and following that i done a, a little uh, run and talk live with uh, lady kathy in one group that i'm in and uh, kathy was coming up to the big 40 and she was doing the goggins challenge i don't know if you've heard of that 48 hours 48 miles uh, where you do four miles every four hours for 48 hours and I was chatting with her with my headphones on and that was after the 5k TT to talk about the um, well just to encourage her and help her along on her 10th leg of the four mile run and uh, as I'm hello oh I did get a good shot did you want to come on here's the lady who was waving earlier <laughs> on uh, camera you're getting ready to go up on this you want to go up on it well what, on the boat and go up is it, is it quite a uh, sight is it yeah that that would be yeah, something to uh, try yeah Let, let's uh, what do you think shall i jump on the boat with this lady and we'll and i'll show you how the lock works from the inside yeah let's do that right here we are we're going we're now being taken into the lock and um yeah, it, it looks like we're just going into a tunnel here. <laughs> Remember what the Romans done for us? Anyway, here we go. Right, so Tony will get off now. see here we're literally going into the lock and over there that thing once they close once they close these here behind us the gate that will that will then basically form a closed encasement and they'll basically close that here we go so we're closing the gate, it's almost like close the portcullis. 
So we close the gates behind us. That will then lock the water in. I will come back a little bit. So we're now locked in of the lock, pun intended. They'll open that. That will then fill with water and we should go up. So at the moment now, you can see the height difference there to there. The gate is locked there. It just needs a little bit of a, a wash. Yeah, oh, and here we go. I'll just keep the hands in. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. telling me it's the green one which is Thunderbird 3 so uh, you can say we are Thunderbird 3 going up and as you can see the level is we are just slowly going up the wonders of science and as you can see that's filled up there 1770 these locks were built wow not, not this particular one but yeah this one. I don't know whether you heard that but in the year of 1770 was the first lock that was built. Yeah. And this particular lock is called Detmore Lock. So more debt. Anyway, so we're almost at that level. As you can see, we're now above ground. Still going up.
that gentleman just mentioned if there was a boat coming down they yeah, would have absolutely. left that open the boat would have gone in and that would have gone down and then the other boat that's waiting Swap would come back there. up yeah and they're all nice 200 years old over. all the locks are 200 years old every wow. single one of them 1760 1760 yeah they're all 1760 to 1800 fantastic all they're all listed monuments Carry on, let's carry on. Linda, do you want to sit there? Okay. Linda, do you want to sit there? Thank you very on. much. Only if you make him one. That's very kind of you. I'm from Mikhail's Navy. Okay, guys. I'm going to go down. I've, I've been invited to go down into the. Uh, I've been corrected. This isn't a barge. This is an actual narrow boat. So let's go in. So yeah, as you can see, it's quite narrow here, and it almost reminds me of the days of the old uh, train line. So you've got a wonderful um, seating area here, and you've got a kitchen, making the teas and coffees, and it looks like a, a living room area here with TV. This is proper luxury, and uh, I do like the um, posters here, and obviously one that's very important to me: Route 66. And as you know, I run along Route 66 cycle route here in the UK, but I've been to Route 66 at both ends. Yeah, Route 66 in America. I've been at the LA end and the Chicago end. So the beginning and the end, depending which way you want to look at it, but um, absolutely fantastic. Got the bathroom, the bathroom's through that door there. Right, so I feel like a proper VIP guest here. So they said, have a look at the bathroom. Here's the bathroom, and wow, it is an actual bath. So here you got the toilet, sink unit, and a bathtub, and shower, a whole shower unit. <laughs> Fantastic. Maybe we should go on a um, ride and talk. Well, we are doing ride and talk. We've pulled over now for a stop for the cuppa, so I'm going to go through. And here we are. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Here's the name of the boat, Kismet. Let's say we've got the flowers at the front. It's proper picturesque here. Types. Yeah. There's all different. So here we are. We've got got my cuppa, and I've got a uh, Tunnock's caramel log. For those uh, Scottish friends of mine will know that Tunnock's is wheel. from Scotland, and, uh, and a wagon wheel. And a wagon wheel with the stig. A wagon wheel with the stick. Does anyone remember wagon wheels from the 70s? That's when it was uh, really big, but I think they were a lot bigger then, whereas now they've uh, cut back on size. But anyway, I'm going to tuck into my tea and, uh, and Tunnock's caramel log. Wow, so there you have it. That's boat Kismet. Tony and his wife, so kind. I mean, lovely, lovely people. And that's the first time I've ever been on a narrow boat, would you believe? Yes, I've seen many going up and down the uh, canals, but that's the first time I've been actually on one. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I certainly enjoyed it. And yeah, so that was week 22 training. And for this week, as I mentioned, I've already done my swim this morning. Um, I've moved it doing the 6.30 swims was just way too early for me and my body was I mean it still hadn't really woken up at uh, 8 o'clock I think I'm doing about 7.45 I start do one hour and as I said the swims now two swims a week one is a speed session and then the other one on the Wednesday is what we call a broken one kilometer two kilometer depending on the distance where I'll swim for two or three hundred meters at a time rest for about 30 seconds and I'll just get used to doing distance swimming and uh, the bike rides yeah i'm get gonna get into some intense sessions now so 
there will be a VO2 um, bike session on the turbo and the distance is will increase to three and a half hours, three hours 45. Like I did the other week where I'd done 100k, it won't be that far because I'm going to cut it back a bit, but it'll still be considerably longer but than I would be doing on the 70.3 in terms of time on the bike. But it'll be a much lower heart rate, it'll be around zone two. Um, so that's the plan on the bike rides and the running, all easy runs. There'll be the long run, I think it's two and a half hour long run and just one interval session each week where it'll be, uh, I think last week was 800 meters and 400 meters. This week is 400 meters and 200 meters. So just intervals, basically sharpening up, getting ready for race. And, uh, and I'll update you more uh, next week on that. And speaking of updates, there was also sections where um, I was doing the, uh, ooh, hold on. I think there's a guy here got a bit of trouble. Right. So <laughs> I was, what I was about to say, um, well, I got distracted um, is I'll be going for, um, I've been doing on the social meds a poem each day, basically inspired by whatever training I've been doing that day and the weather and things like that. And, uh, and if you follow me on the old social meds on Twitter, Instagram at Poet with Pace, you'll find those on there. So till next week, trippers, I'll be seeing you oh so soon. And uh, yeah. And I'll update you on how this first intense week, so yeah, four weeks, four weeks to race day. And the next definitely two weeks, stroke three weeks, is pretty intense race sharpening training. And I'll update you more on that. You've got the 5K time trial that I've done on Saturday, which I'll release later this week. That'll be coming up as well. And uh, yeah, the excitement is building. The race is coming, but it just seems to have gone on for so, so long, but hey, we're nearly there. Let's just keep going. Thank you again for watching this. Really appreciate your time. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's quite a varied walk and talk. You never know what's going to happen. I just go with the flow. Thank you, trippers. Take care. Love you all. Bye bye bye.